Hello, very good morning. It is 25th of December 2015. Of course, the Christmas day. I am the Raja Mayuran, wishing you all a very, very Merry Christmas. And now I am with the news highlights that the English dailies of Sri Lanka have brought for you. The news at the top center of the paper says moves underway to set up Grama Rajya Sabhas. The Home Affairs Ministry is presently working out legislations to set up Grama Rajya Sabhas by clustering villages to coordinate grassroots level development activities officials said yesterday. A news below it says decentralized budget rupees 15 million allocation for each MP. The government has decided to allocate rupees 15 million to each MP next year under the decentralized budget to execute development projects in their respective electoral districts. And the news says unprecedented traffic jam on Southern Expressway. An intense traffic congestion prevailed yesterday along the Southern Expressway due to a sudden influx of a large number of vehicles heading towards Mathura. And the news says reversion to former import tax on electric vehicles. Vehicle Importers Association welcomes move. The Vehicle Importers Association of Lanka yesterday welcomed President Maitri Palas Rajapaksa's decision to cancel the increase in the import tax on electric vehicles by 50%, which tax had earlier been raised in accordance with Budget 2016. And the news says salaries of SLM peers lost in region, says Kriyala. Leader of the House Lakshman Kriyala said yesterday, though there was general agreement that the salary scales of Sri Lankan MPs were the lowest in the region, a decision was not taken to increase it. Now it's time to move to daily news. Who's headline writes Ministry to abolish FBR from female migrant workers. The Foreign Employment Ministry is to abolish the controversial family background report procured from all potential female migrant workers seeking foreign employment. The ministry has already appointed a team to evaluate the practice and the issues that have arisen from the recommend and will take all of it into consideration foreign employment minister darada adhikarul told the daily news a news below it says weapons ammunition in second ship government analysts report submitted to court The government analyst report on the weapons and ammunition stored in the second ship of Avant Garde company was submitted to court on December 4 the justice ministry stated yesterday another news says ministers mulls only fines on traffic offenders in a bid to ease the backlog of cases in courts the justice ministry is seriously considering the imposition of fines on traffic offenders instead of filing cases against them in courts Justice Minister Dr Vijaydas Rajabaksha said a large number of cases have been filed against persons for violating the Motor Traffic Act. Another news says water board on token strike tomorrow. The Water Supply and Drainage Board Joint Trade Union Alliance will launch a token strike tomorrow in protest of slashing their bonus. Another news says child dies after dry show driven by father topples on her a 2 and a half year old child died after being crushed underneath a three wheeler driven by her father which toppled in the middle of a road close to their home in Dalneva Anuradhapura the child was thrown out of the three wheeler which overturned and later toppled on her finally let me see what silon today have brought for you Ceylon today writes its headline as HRCSL wants death penalty abolished. The Human Rights Commission of Sri Lanka is making an in-depth study of the pros and cons relating to capital punishment with the objective of formulating a proposal to be submitted to government to expunge capital punishment from the constitution. And the news says to save face and portfolio Varun Singh are desperate for loopholes. Western Province Minister of Health Nishanda Sri Varnasinghe has yet to resign even though he had on December 22 said he would following a expenditure allocation proposals for his ministry being defeated by the majority in the governing party at the Western Province's budgetary voting. And the news says Dr. Devasri assaulted Dr. Nirmal Ranjit Devasri lodged a complaint last Wednesday at the Maharagama Police alleging a shop owner assaulted him because he demanded a balance of rupees 2 due to him after paying for two prepared mobile phones reload cards. Another news says law against 80 plus gauge polythene. 
The law on use of plastic and polythene bags less than 20 microns or 80 gauge would be strictly implemented with effect from 1st January on a presidential directive sources at the Ministry of Mahavari Development and Environment said. Finally, a news says army books suggest rupees 4 million fraud. The Auditor General has uncovered a fraud of Rs 4.1 million involving the supply of photocopy paper to the Sri Lanka Army. These were the prime news that the English dailies brought for you today. News like this and more will come on your way tomorrow too. Have a happy holiday.